the electric vehicle race is on. And if I asked you who would be the strongest athlete in this race, then what would your answer be? Definitely Tesla. But Tesla is having rivals arriving at its door. Back in 2004, Elon Musk became the largest shareholder and chairman of the company Tesla. Later in 2008, Warren Buffett also followed the path of the newer technology and invested $232 million for a nearly 10% stake in BYD, a China-based company that makes lithium-ion batteries and electric cars. Truth be told, Warren Buffett and Elon Musk have been competing in the EV space for quite some time now. However, in recent days, BYD has been seen catching up and playing strategically to improve its business at a global level. Well, let me tell you something. You're at the exact place where you'll get to learn all about BYD partnerships, EVs, which company is leading, whose shares are up, and all the essential info related to the EV market. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Tesla entered the game by producing EVs and then announcing plans to diversify into other segments. BYD has done the complete opposite to Tesla. Years ago, it started as a battery manufacturer, supplying products to other industries like mobile phones, and it has since moved on to producing solar panels, large-scale battery projects, and electrified vehicles, including cars, buses, and trucks. If you don't know what BYD is, let me give you a quick overview. BYD, whose initials stand for Build Your Life, was founded in Shenzhen, China in the mid-1990s as a manufacturer of batteries. It was founded by Wang Xuanfu in February 1995. The company has two major subsidiaries, BYD Automobile and BYD Electronic. Since its foundation in 1995, the company quickly developed solid expertise in rechargeable batteries and became a relentless advocate for sustainable development, successfully expanding its renewable energy solutions globally with operations in over 50 countries and regions. Its creation of a zero emissions energy solution comprising affordable solar power generation, reliable energy storage, and cutting edge electrified transportation has made it an industry leader in the energy and transportation sectors. BYD now has about a quarter million employees and sells as many as 30,000 pure EVs or plug-in hybrids in China every month. American business magnate Warren Buffett is the CEO of American multinational conglomerate holding company Berkshire Hathaway, which owns 24.6% of BYD, making it the company's second largest shareholder. Now, moving on. How BYD is making its global presence. What strategic moves have BYD made to improve its electric vehicle business? These are the four biggest partnerships announced by BYD. Firstly, BYD partnered with Shell to expand the electric vehicle charging network across China and Europe. BYD and the oil and gas giant Shell plan to form a joint venture to develop EV charging networks in China, starting with a network of more than 10,000 charging points in Shenzhen, before expanding to more locations across China. BYD's battery-powered electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles will also be allowed to access 275,000 charging points across Shell's network in Europe. Shell hopes to operate over 500,000 EV charging points worldwide by 2025. The partnership will start in China and Europe before extending to other regions across the globe, according to the statement. Shell and BYD also intend to collaborate on global research and development in the areas of battery performance and advanced charging. The second biggest partnership BYD has is with Toyota. The partnership between Toyota and BYD is seen as a move by the Japanese company to fast-track its development of electric vehicle models in line with the industry trends. Toyota has pursued research on hybrid vehicles and hydrogen fuel cells in its future cars, but its progress has not been at par with the pace of evolution of the global EV market. Toyota presently has few EV offerings in the market, but the brand is miles away from the top and has a negligible market share in the fast-growing market. It's understood that the Toyota BYD partnership will see the release of a small and affordable electric sedan in China late next year, and the new electric car will come with a 200,000 yuan or $30,000 price tag. The partnership, according to Toyota, will see BYD proving the key technology that will yield a roomy car that is also affordable. It will be powered by BYD's blade battery cells with the much improved LFP chemistry. With the newly established joint R&D company, Toyota and BYD aim to work together to further develop BEVs that are attractive to Chinese customers and, by further promoting their widespread adoption, aim to contribute toward environmental improvement. 
The third biggest partnership BYD had was with Neuro later in the year 2021. BYD announced its partnership with leading autonomous vehicle company Neuro to begin producing the company's third-generation electric autonomous delivery vehicle. The partnership is expected to scale Neuro's more affordable, eco-friendly, and convenient services to millions of people across the country. BYD is currently working with Nero to design and develop the latter's next-generation autonomous delivery robots, which will be equipped with components provided by the automaker such as the electric motors and lithium-ion phosphate blade batteries. Combining both partners' advanced technology, Nero's third-generation autonomous delivery vehicle will feature greater payload and new safety technologies. With twice the cargo volume of Nero's current R2 model, the automotive production-grade vehicle will also feature modular inserts to customize storage and new temperature-controlled compartments to keep goods warm or cold. Safety enhancements include an external airbag to further improve safety for pedestrians outside the vehicle, as well as a multimodal sensing suite, including cameras, radars, LIDAR, and thermal cameras, creating a redundant 360-degree view of the world. Nero was founded in 2016 by Jia Junju and Dave Ferguson, former principal engineers of Google's self-driving car team, specializing in developing zero-occupant vehicles designed specifically for transporting goods and not passengers. Nero has launched two generations of autonomous vehicles, introduced delivery service with industry leaders including Domino's, Kroger, and 7-Eleven, and announced a multi-year partnership with FedEx. As a leader in the NEV industry, BYD has innovated rich technologies in the field of electrification. In this project, BYD is jointly working with Neuro on vehicle development, is responsible for vehicle manufacturing and initial vehicle testing, and provides hardware like the blade battery, electric motors, electronic controls, and displays for human-machine interaction. Neuro integrated technologies such as autonomous driving, control modules, and sensors. BYD will finish the assembly of the hardware platform at its Lancaster plant in the United States using globally sourced components. Nero will then complete the vehicle manufacturing process by installing and testing the autonomy systems that will make the platform capable of operation at the company's new facilities in Southern Nevada. The fourth biggest partnership is between BYD and Levo. They aim to create BEVs with V2G technology. BYD is partnering with Levo Mobility to integrate NUVI's vehicle-to-grid V2G technology with a variety of commercial, public transport, and heavy-duty BYD battery electric vehicles. The project will create up to 5,000 BYD battery electric vehicles, or BEVs, over the next five years. Through a preferred financing partnership with BYD, Levo plans to purchase the 5,000 medium and heavy-duty V2G-enabled electric vehicles, which will be a mix of transit buses and coaches, yard tractors, drayage and refuse trucks, last-mile delivery vehicles, and school buses. Levo Mobility was created in 2021 when the California-based V2G specialist Nuvi and private equity firm Stone Peak formed the joint venture Levo Mobility. Levo Mobility not only utilizes the V2G technology of founding partner Nuvi and the financing services of founding partner Stone Peak Equity Services, but also Fleet as a Service or FAAS solutions with infrastructure services company Evolve Transition Infrastructure, which is also a partner in the Levo joint venture. With these BYD vehicles, Levo Mobility will provide its customers with a comprehensive offering that not only provides electric vehicles, but also financing, the required charging infrastructure, and energy management powered by NUV, among other elements, such as maintenance and site planning. The advantage for customers is that these services can be provided to customers for a fixed monthly payment with no upfront cost. With these services, Levo Mobility is addressing several major hurdles companies face when decarbonizing their fleets, such as the substantial upfront cost of electrification while ensuring the fleet is managed with low costs through mechanisms such as savings made possible by V2G technology. New V V2G technology utilizes high-powered bi-directional charging stations, which are, of course, not only useful for charging the vehicle, but also to feed energy back into the grid. This makes better use of intermittent renewable energy sources, as well as evening out grid loads over demand peaks. With this technology, companies can save on charging costs by charging when utility rates are low. Nuvi's V2G platform also enables revenue opportunities from these grid services. BYD is giving tough competition to Tesla in the electric vehicle market. BYD is opening multiple plants this year and launching several new models and expanding into new export markets. 
Both Tesla and BYD have managed to grow rapidly despite chip shortages that crippled almost every other automaker in 2021. Both companies produce their chips and energy storage products in-house, but BYD also has a strong business selling electric buses and EV batteries, which gives BYD a strong advantage. Growth prospects are still strong for BYD. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. And remember what I told you earlier about the stocks, so if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.